Hello everyone. Hello again. Thank you so much for joining us in today's video. And today Yuk and I will be having an English tea time with a German twist. Yes. And then we're going to show you how we prepare our tea. Yes. Sort of the British way because since we moved here we learned a lot, I yeah. think. Yeah. In Germany we did it in a different way. Yeah. And we, we are tea lovers, that's for sure. And you might be wondering, what's the German twist? Yeah, it's not a dance, so no. I won't be dancing today. <laughs> no. It's this cake. It's a very autumnal cake, a gluten-free, you have helped me out, a gluten-free apple bond okay. cake. Yeah, with almonds and cinnamon. Yes, it's very, very good. And we made it yesterday and filmed it. Um, yeah, yeah, we thought we would share it. Yeah, so that's the next thing you're going to see. Yes, you will see how we made the cake and afterwards we will focus on tea. Yeah. So, see you in a bit. Now let's make the apple bond cake with cinnamon and almonds and we think it's just perfect for autumn because now we have such terrible weather it's lovely to make a cake like this. This is everything you need for the cake, but don't worry, we will put everything down below in the info box so you have all the amounts and the method to make this cake. First, I'm beating the soft butter until it's fluffy. Then, I'm adding the sugar and a few drops of vanilla bean extract. Now, I'm adding the eggs one after another. I'm now adding the rest of the ingredients and the apples will go in last and I'm already excited because I just love a house that smells of lovely cake. I don't know about you but I think it, it's a bit of a childhood memory because my mother always make cake on a Saturday when we were children. Today is Saturday, so yeah, it's a memory, a lovely one. We are slowly getting there. I'm now adding the gluten-free flour, then I'm adding the almonds. I mix everything well and I mustn't forget the cinnamon. And, and if you ask me, yeah. And that's why my task will be to build the apples yeah. and create them into the dough. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's the most important task. Yeah. That's why he has to do it. I need to test it. I have to. That's good. It's not too sweet and quite different with the, with a grated apple. We've never made this before, so that's special, I think. Now, let's talk about tea. And when we talk about tea today, it's just black tea. As you can see, now I've got here three different kinds of teas. And as you can see, they're really, really, the tins look nice, so these are really good teas, and they're all loose teas, because loose tea is usually a bit of better tea. And the first one I want to show you is a Darjeeling. A Darjeeling is an Indian tea, which is a very light tea, has a nice color, and it's called the champagne of the tea. So it's, let's say, one of the finest and best quality teas of the world are Darjeeling teas. Then I've got here is an Assam tea. An Assam tea is also an Indian tea, but it's a more 
stronger tea, it is a darker color, but I also like it. I usually drink Assam during the weekdays. And then I've got a really special tea, which is a Chinese tea, but it's also a black tea, and it's a Russian caravan. Yes, it's a caravan. And it's very strong, it's got a strong taste. Kirsten doesn't like this strong taste because it's a bit smoky, but I really love it. It's really good and yeah, it's one of my favorite teas. And now Kirsten will show you her favorite teas. Now I have three favorite teas that are, I think, quintessentially British. My current ultimate favorite that I drink every morning is this one, Twinings number no. four, dark gray. It's so good. It says it has citrus, has a malty flavor and a hint of smoke. I can really recommend it. So, and this our tea bag. So this is like on the go, very easy and quick to make. And since we moved to the UK, I became a big fan of English breakfast tea. English breakfast tea, everyone loves it. And yeah, this one is loose tea, a bit on the stronger side. And simply, it, it's so good, it goes with everything. And another loose tea, this is Earl Grey, which contains bergamot. Really, really good. And I have to say, whenever I talk about Earl Grey, I have to think of Captain Picard and Star Trek. Although the funny thing is, in an interview, he said he doesn't really like Earl Grey in reality because he's a Yorkshire man. So he drinks Yorkshire tea, which makes me laugh all the time. But yeah, Earl Grey, English breakfast tea and this dark grey tea is very good. And now Jörg and I have to decide on which tea to prepare and we will show you how we make it. So now let's make some tea. And Jörg and I decided on this one. Yeah, it's the Darjeeling. Yeah, we just, we both love it. Yeah. And as Jörg said, it's the champagne of tea. So let's have a treat on a Sunday afternoon. Exactly. For a good tea, you have to preheat your pot. And I simply do that by putting in some hot tap water into it. That's mm -hmm. enough. Yeah. So that's just tap water yeah. and our lovely teapot. And you used about a, a third. Yeah. Yeah, a third of And now, simply get some fresh cold water, put it in your kettle and heat it. Yes. <laughs> now, when you've got hot water, yeah. just remove the, the the water from the tap. Yes. Yeah. And then. So we're going to use about four spoons. Yeah. 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 Looking forward to that tea. And then simply fill the pot. And a smart person once told me that you shouldn't, let's say, reheat your water mm -hmm. and use it again for the tea because that simply adds oxygen to the water and the tea makes, uh, doesn't, the tea doesn't like that. Yeah. So that's, I think that's a helpful tip. Yes, so. very helpful. Yeah. So always use fresh water. So for Darjeeling, it says infuse for about five minutes, and this is what we're doing now. And what's really interesting, George Orwell actually wrote an essay on how to make tea. I know I was actually really, really surprised to find out. And I remember one of the things he says is don't use sugar. And I must admit, I really love a bit of sweetness in my tea, so I usually use sugar, so yeah. I never do! <laughs> so I think you just, you, you, you never use sugar? No. 
Only for the Russian caravan. Ah, right, yeah. Well, I think at the end of the day, you have to take your tea as you like it. A bit sweeter, not sweet. It depends, I think. You could have that with whipping cream, I think, but yeah. you don't need to. It's quite, I think, it's quite, how would you say, moist yeah. and not dry at all because of the apples. So this is what it looks like. And also sweet enough. Yeah, I think it's perfect. It goes so nicely with tea. Wonderful. This is the part I like most. English tea time yeah. with a German twist. What could be better? Yeah. Have you tried the tea yet? Because yes. I haven't. Oh yeah, that's a proper brew. Very good. I just, I, I love Darjeeling. Um, yeah, we hope you like the video and that it was a bit helpful. We know we, we're not perfect when it comes to tea. Far from it, but uh, yeah, it's yeah. it's nice to learn. We just wanted to show you how we make our tea. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah, we'll see you again very soon. And thank you so much for watching. And in case you're making the cake, yeah. let us know what you think because we really like it. I think it's so nice. We haven't made it before. No, so. but the apples are a special thing. Yeah, I think so too. So we'll see you again very soon and until next time. Yeah, take care. Take care. Bye. Bye.